My name is Michael Trout, and I hope you'll just take two minutes to listen to this video. You know, last September I watched a documentary called The Vanishing of the Bees and was somewhat shocked because I remember growing up in England and having bees all around me, and it dawned on me that in the last six years of living in Japan, I couldn't remember seeing one bee. That's right, one bee. No bumblebees, no honeybees, or anything. So I started looking. I started looking at our fields of buckwheat, which is this white flower in Japan, it's called soba, and there was no bees. I started looking in our gardens, and there's no bees. And I realized that we have a crisis, a crisis that has just kind of snuck up on us, and we can make a difference. We can make a difference because in my research, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that it is systemic pesticides, pesticides that basically are wa water soluble, that get into the plant and the bees and into the pollen that the bees are basically consuming. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that the bees are taking this pollen back to their hives, right? And feeding it to their brood or to their larva and ultimately weakening their immune system. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize that over time the amount of pesticides building up inside the hive just makes the bees just get up and leave. And that is what's happening. Because the bees next door to the hive won't even rob the honey, the most precious commodity. You open up a healthy beehive and if they're nearby bees, there's a good chance if they're a stronger colony they're going to rob it. With colony collapse disorder, they're not robbing the honey. Why? Because it's contaminated. It's contaminated with the systemic pesticides. Systemic pesticides, by the way, that are affecting you because you can't wash them off. They're inside of your orange. They're inside of your grapes. They're inside of your apples. And there's been no long-term study on the effect of systemic pesticides. Harvard just announced that there is a direct correlation of systemic pesticides and colony collapse disorder. So what I want you to do, I want you to help me launch Save Our Bees, Save Ourselves initiative. What does it mean? It means sharing this video, look below and you'll see it attached here, and sharing my talk and getting folks to become active against systemic pesticides. These systemic pesticides are basically killing, they're killing our bees. And as Einstein pointed out, with no bees, we have about four years to live. So we better get viral. There's no nonprofit behind this. This is about you and me sharing a video and saying, hey, let's get the word out. Share the PDF that I've linked below. There's a, it's an eighth grade level, and you can learn and understand what systemic pesticides are and what they're doing. They're weakening the immune system. It's a pesticide. And bees are insects, and pesticides are designed to kill what? Insects, which are bees too. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Please, please share this video, like it, and let's bring about action that is needed to stop these systemic pesticides from doing even more harm.